It's a beautiful day. I look really different, I think. I like my hairstyle this morning. It's a bun. Aww. Oh, the little kid is crying because he doesn't want to go to school. <laughs> How cute. So that's how I sign in now. I already got one compliment on my hair. Usually when I do something a little bit different to my hair, I get a lot of comments like, oh, you changed your hair, or something like that, but yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm going to read you a little short story in Korean. <laughs> I look like such a teacher with these glasses. <laughs> okay, it's in Korean, so forgive me for my mistakes. <laughs> um, I've only read this a few times, so I might stumble a little bit, but you guys get to hear me read in Korean. <laughs> Kega Tariel Gonogo isosoyo. Kenan Ipe Pyodagiril Mulgo isosoyo. Kenan Keurul Nerio da Bogonen Taran Kega Ipe Pyodagiril Mulgo inen Gosul Boasoyo. Mm Je Kedo Pyodagiril Kako Ijana Kui Pyodagiga Ne Kopoda Toko boinen gol. Mong mong. Ke pyodagiril ne noa. O. Bulsang han yokshim jengi keyo. Pyodaginen yong yong sarajo borio soyo. So pretty much he was looking into the water at his own reflection and he wanted the dog's bone, which he thought was another dog, but it was his own bone. <laughs> so he ended up throwing his bone into the water trying to catch the bone of the other dog so yeah that's actually a good lesson sometimes you think other people's bones are bigger than yours but it's really your bone is big enough <laughs> okay yeah that's the lesson for today if you guys want to practice your reading skills I recommend you get a book like this it's a children's book and it has English and Korean I guess a hundred stories in Korean in English. This is actually an English book, but it has Korean at the bottom. So it's all in English here, but it has Korean here at the bottom, which is what I was reading you guys. You should find something like this that has both the English and Korean and work on practicing the Korean, but you also have the story in English. Uh, this will help you learn a lot of new words. You can also get a very basic children's book in Korean. If it doesn't have the English translation, you can just look up the words you don't know. 
Uh, this might be a little too much if you're very, very beginner because it's too taxing to try and look up every single word. But if you're pretty decent in some Korean, you can get one that has all Korean in it or get a storybook that you already know the story in English. So then like, for example, uh, the Three Little Pigs or Red Riding Hood or something like that, that you already know the story. That way you know kind of the storyline and you just need to um, read it in Korean and kind of, you'll understand the context with the pictures and some of the words. So yeah, those are some study tips for you guys. Look, my glasses! <laughs> my glasses! Well. Thank you. No, oh, my glasses. Thank you. <laughs> I know it's not. What did I say? You you go well? No. Okay, yeah. Glasses. Oh. Hmm. 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 H
<laughs> but I try and drink more water if I eat um, soy sauce. Yeah, salty, huh? Yeah. I brought a cup of noodles yesterday, but the doctor told me not to eat it because it um it raised my blood pressure up a little bit. But I like a cup of noodles. Yeah. And I rinsed them. I rinsed them off and. I didn't eat none of the juice, but I guess it's still salty. Yeah, I think probably in the noodles too, still. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're getting ready to eat. These are Annie's glasses. <laughs> With my hair up like this, I look like a school um, teacher in the 50s. Yeah. <laughs> she um, painted the middle part black with nail, black nail polish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. We have to restyle it a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was laughing so hard I started crying. I'm looking up um, this saying that I used to say because Annie cooked and it was so good and I was like you put your foot in this and then I was referring to my brownies as well because they turned out really good this time and oh I think I found a new trick by the way for my brownies. Um, try the recipe without the coconut milk. It tastes really good. Anyway so if I'm gonna put the link in the description box because <laughs> I don't think I should be reading this on YouTube <laughs> but it's really funny but if you guys don't know put your foot in to put your foot in means it is fantastic usually referring to a great meal so if something is really good you can tell them you put your foot in this yeah and then there's another example but I don't think it's appropriate <laughs> just say it I'm gonna put some bleeps in this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read it and then you guys are gonna have to look it up in the link. Okay, first, put your foot in. This is when you achieve something to the best of your ability. It is often used in African American communities to describe cooking something especially well. And the example is damn, Lakita, you put your foot in those ribs. I might have to slap you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh <sighs> urban dictionary all right guys i'm gonna say good night i hope you guys i couldn't swallow my spit <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed the video even though nothing really crazy went on today be sure to comment below something anything <laughs> and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye even korea's most prominent creation myth gives animals a central role According to legend, the Lord of Heaven, Huanin, sent his son, Huaneng, to Earth 